Men, what is a great sex tip you have to share with other men? Helping a woman finish is usually more about rhythm than force. If you struggle with rhythm, try putting on music with decent bass. If she starts breathing hard, twisting around, or especially says, I'm close, change nothing. Changing things at this point can be very effective, but it's also complicated, and usually requires a good amount of communication. If you are looking for sex tips, start there. Change nothing when she is close. Try to focus on your partner, exclusively. Many people are hyper-aware during sex. They can tell if you aren't really paying attention. It's not a good feeling. If you are self-conscious about finishing fast, find out what you need to get to round two, protein shake, cuddling, and talk about this with your partner. Many women like the idea that they can make their partner finish fast. They also like to finish as well. The simplest solution here is to have sex twice. If you struggle to have sex twice in a short time period, keep in mind that penis in vag sex is often the worst way to help a woman finish. Learn to give good head. Stop being self-conscious about your DK. There really are cons to a big DK, and pros to a small one. And the only reason to really care about its size is because of how it affects your partner. Your pleasure has nothing to do with your size. Even if you have a micro DK, seriously, stop worrying. Your best bets to helping a woman finish are, in order, your words, your tongue, your hands, then your DK. You can learn to use all four better. You can't make your DK bigger. If none of that can help you stop fussing about it, consider that confidence is itself attractive. Even being self-deprecating about your DK, which is still healthier than most people's relationship with their DK, is not confident behavior. A lot of this read is, chase your partner's pleasure more than your own. Keep in mind that they should be doing the same thing. If you feel like your partner doesn't care about your pleasure, talk about it. Guys can also have bad sex. The single best tip for sex is often the hardest, due to how we tend to treat sex. Communicate. Use all, particularly the flat part, of your tongue. Not just the tip, more pleasurable for her, less tiring for you. Also, lightly sucking works wonders. Yes. Google Nina Hartley instructions. It's NSFW but her instructions are incredible. If she gives you advice during, do not take it personally. It isn't an attack on your abilities but a way to make it more enjoyable for both of you. Kinda good all around life advice TBH. Don't let your ego get in the way of personal growth. Everyone who gives you advice wants to help you, and even if some of it turns out to be poo advice, taking it and exploring it in good faith helps you grow. ITT, women secretly giving tips to help spread good sex tips all around in general. Guys, after having anal sex, piss and wash. Else you can get a nasty UTI or prostate infection. Applies to standard sex as well. Gotta clear the runways. When she says just like that, that's what she means. That is when the amnesia of what I was doing two seconds ago kicks in. Listen carefully to prompts and noises, works wonders. What if I can't hear anything because my ears are wearing thigh muffs? Edit. Guys, what the hell? My first award on Reddit? I feel so accomplished. Life is good. Don't tell your partner you learned your moves from an Ask Reddit thread. Jokes on you. I'll go through here with her, asking what works for her. Edit, grammar and spelling. Literally the only thing it takes to be decent in bed, in my experience, is to pay attention to how your partner responds to things. Keep trying different things until you find something that they clearly, you'll know it when you see it, enjoy, then keep doing more of that. That's genuinely all there is to it. The old, squeeze my shoulder if something feels really good, works wonders for shy partners, too. Cut your nails. Also file them after cutting them. Talk to you partner about what they like. Also what they don't like. Only thing worse than not properly pleasing someone is straight up killing the mood by doing something they don't like. I used to date a woman who had two big no-go rules and that was it. Everything else was on the table, including on the table lol. The level of communication comes down to the individual and the circumstances in my experience. A lot of Craigslist casual encounters were great because we both knew the only goal was mutual gratification. In those instances I found most women were very forthright with their likes, dislikes. 
any time it was a romantic interest, there was a much higher chance of both of us kind of keeping the freak flag furled until we knew we wouldn't scare the other one off lol. Don't have sex after cutting jalapenos. My BF did this to my vag. He cut jalapenos, washed his hands, put them in me, and it was the worst experience ever. I took a shower lol. Have fun, play, laugh. Sex can be weird and funny, so just go with it. Be good, giving, and game to try new things, especially if you're so as interested in something. Some of the best sex my husband and I have had has included a fit of the giggles. I think it reminds you that you're not just lovers, you're friends too. Tip from my dad. If you're going down on a girl for the first time and you inevitably get hair in your mouth, don't spit it out as it kills the mood, instead lick her upper inner thigh to get it off your tongue. Dad I'm at work why did you call to tell me this? P isn't real, don't pull any of those moves without discussing it with your partner first. Even basic stuff, the positions P stars use are for the camera, not for comfort. Just cause it looks hot doesn't mean it's comfortable for either of you. It's hard, but the best thing to do is to forget everything you've ever seen in P the moment you're in bed with a girl. It's better to seem inexperienced than to come off as some pee hound that wants to try everything you've seen in pee. Don't just wash your DK and balls. Wash your ass and gooch too. No one wants to go down on a guy and get a whiff of swampy ass stank. This is also a great not sex tip. Care as much or more about your partner's pleasure as your own. And be open to trying things you haven't considered as long as you're moderately comfortable with the idea. It will be more enjoyable for everyone and you'll learn about one another much more quickly. Seriously, just getting in there and blowing your beans as fast as you can, is pretty mediocre sex at best. Teasing and playing and building tension for both of you, heightens the experience so much that I can't imagine just getting straight to my part. Both of you approaching climax at the same time is like having two orgasms at once. Don't be quiet, let her know you enjoy it. Compliment her on different parts of her body. Nothing in this world hotter than a man who's vocal during sex. Most women love this but rarely get it. First pick a partner that is good to you and you can trust. Second, be open with your partner. When you are comfortable with each other like this, the sky is the limit. Not a lot of women can orgasm through penetration alone, no matter how long you go for, so stimulate the clitoris while you're doing it. That is the easiest way to give a woman multiple orgasms edit. What I mean is the asterisk majority asterisk can't orgasm through penetration alone, of course some women can. Talk with your partner and ask what works for them. And some women do not like direct clitoral stimulation. So ask, listen, and don't try to change her mind. When the room goes dead silent, she is not enjoying whatever you have decided she should. Edit to clarify. The dead silent of, him I wonder if I need new shelf liner, a nice beige color would spice things up. Not the silence of impending explosion, the other one that hangs in the air like a deflated parade float. Do male kegel exercises regularly. Edit, a part of male kegel exercises for sexual pleasure is for a man to stand while stimulated and fully erect. Lifting your unit like making it do a sit up 100 times a day. This helps your stamina. Placing a wet washcloth over the tip helps more. Women like different things at different times. Pay close attention to their body language and vocal signals. So 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, 100 kegel exercises, and a 10k run. Got it. In the wise words of Taylor Tomlinson, approach it with the enthusiasm of a child. Put everything in your mouth. My puppy is currently teething and this metaphor gives me a little anxiety since I'm just a chew toy that screams. When she says, right there, or like that. Keep the same pace and don't go buck wild. And don't blow it. If you kneel on the floor with her on the bed when you're giving oral you can put the condom on while you do it, that stops the mood being ruined by stopping to put one on. And if you have a hard time multitasking, get your buddy to hide under the bed beforehand to help slip the condom on. Put the crocs into sports mode so you have better traction and don't have to adjust your feet. Hey I got you a pair of crocs. Why? No reason. There are a surprising and alarming amount of comments about washing your DK and balls. Guys. WTF. Here's a good tip from one man to another. Ask a woman this question. Hell, not just any woman, ask the one you're trying to bone. 
Every girl is different but something that will help the majority of the time. When you feel you've hit the spot based on their reaction, fight the urge to go faster or harder and keep doing it exactly the same. When girls say don't stop, literally don't stop whatever you're doing. They didn't say change it up or try something else. If a girl tells you don't stop, you keep the pace going, do what you're doing, don't stop. Don't get your best friend pregnant. He seems pretty happy now. Grandma approves. I'm 47, and the thing I wish I could tell my younger self, is to slow down. Overall, each touch, let linger and do so till your partner moans in your mouth as you kiss. Mix, remix, till that happens. There is a time for all things, even in sex. Be open and honest with your partner in all things. Oh yeah, married for 22 years, my four sons are all 18 plus, and my partner and I love each other more today than ever before. Dash. Edit. Holy crap, 5k upvotes lol thanks everyone. Made my day. If you regularly do Kegel exercises you will start having harder and longer lasting erections. How do you do a Kegel? I'm a woman, but I feel like this needs to be said. Please be vocal. You don't have to be super creative or explicit with dirty talk, but expressing your pleasure vocally makes a lot of us excited. Moan, growl, describe what you're doing, say what you want to do, say how it feels. You want to get your partner excited. It's as easy as expressing your own excitement. And hash x200b. Edit. Wow, thanks for the awards, guys. Feedback is important. I hope you're all as responsive with your partners. A plus advice. I love hearing how good I taste, how tight I feel around your cock, how good I make you feel. And get comfortable with communicating after the fact. Did it feel good when I, I really like it when you. Wash your effing cock and balls. You can give her a ooty super easy. And hands, if you want to touch her down there. Cystitis is really bad. I had a teacher once give me a piece of advice that has given me better results, and better sex, than anything else I have ever heard. Don't look for a no, look for a hell yes. As guys we often feel like we have to make moves, and we have to push forward. You don't. So often we're doing things like, well I put my hand on her thigh and she didn't take it off or move away, so she must want to go forward, right? And sometimes you're in the clear, and other times she didn't react because she didn't know how to say no. So don't force anything. She'll let you know when she wants to kiss you. She'll let you know when she wants your hand down her pants. Maybe this date you won't get laid. And hey, maybe she'll wish you had instigated a little more. But you'll never get regret, or have sex with someone who's not comfortable with you and feel like crap after, if you just change what you're looking for. A no can be misconstrued, but a hell yes. A hell yes is impossible to miss, and if you wait for that, I guarantee you will have much, much better sex. Communicate, don't assume, especially with regards to consent. Second to that, take your effing time. Eat pee. A wise man once said, start out like a butterfly gently landing on a flower petal. Finish like an English bulldog eating a bowl of oatmeal. Toys are your friends not rivals. Tell that to my wife. She hates when I play with my Legos during sex. Some general advice. No piece of advice applies to all women. These are just guidelines that should be applicable to most folks, but communication is key, as I'll explain later. Hygiene goes without saying. Keep it clean. Keep your nails short. If you forgot this until the last moment, clip them and run the edges on your jeans to dull them a little. No one wants to get fingered by scary Terry, bitch. Orgasms are not always required. Obviously they're great, but if either you or your partner doesn't finish after you've given it the good old college try, don't get down on yourself about it. Sex should be fun even before the orgasm. Put her pleasure above yours and she'll probably take care of you. Use protection. Yes, it feels better without it, but let me tell you what doesn't feel good, child support payments. Chlamydia. Full-blown AIDS. Or at least I assume they don't, because I've never experienced any of those things. Because I use protection. When used correctly, condoms are 98% effective at preventing pregnancy according to the knockout blurb Google gave me when I searched condom effectiveness. 
Look up a YouTube video if you're not sure if you're using them 100% correctly. And I don't care how strong you think your pull-out game is, entrusting a horny dude with the task of not ejaculating inside a woman that's saying F me harder, baby, like your partners will be once you're done reading this guide, is dumber than sending a kid to the Jared Fogel summer camp, that was a real thing, look it up. And get tested after each new partner, just in case. Can't be too careful. Don't masturbate with too tight a grip. You'll kill the sensitivity in your DK. Use a loose but firm grip and lubricate yourself. If you've already been doing this, switch to the aforementioned technique, no exceptions. If you find that doesn't get you off, well, too bad. You don't get to finish until you can finish like that, because otherwise you'll be in the unenviable position of not being able to finish while effing. And then she'll get self-conscious, you'll be embarrassed, it'll be awful. Beware the death grip. Pee after you finish. It's even more important for women, but it goes a long way toward preventing urinary tract infections. Make some asterisk n o o o o o o i s e asterisk. Probably, most women tend to like it when you're vocal. Don't go overboard, grunting like a warthog, like a lot of pee stars seem to do, is probably too much. But let her know you're enjoying yourself. Tell her how good her hand, mouth, pee, ass feels, how much you love her tits, ass, legs, pee, etc. Unless she's not into dirty talk, which is fine too. Don't be embarrassed. Not getting it up happens. Shooting your load too soon happens. Farts, queefs, armpit fart noises because your skin was suctioned to hers, it happens. Get used to it. Laugh about it. Enjoy yourself. Okay. 1. Communication. This is super important. The most important. It turns out that it's much easier to do stuff she likes when you know what it is because she told you. You can work it into talking dirty, too, if you try a particular rhythm and she reacts positively, ask her if she likes that as suggestively as you feel comfortable with. If she says, harder, go harder. But, if she says, don't stop, or right there, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Same angle, pace, intensity, whatever. Conversely, if she's doing something that doesn't work for you, gently tell her so. It's better to correct that kind of thing early than reinforce something that doesn't do it for you, this is why faking orgasms is bad. And if they do something you love, make sure to let them know that too. If there's an opportunity to tactfully and respectfully ask some questions beforehand, do that. Is she into dirty talk? Spanking? Hair pulling? Does she like her breasts, nipples played with? These are all things that a lot of people do like, but some people find distasteful, and you shouldn't spring them on someone without asking first. Communicate before, during, and after sex. Can't stress this enough. 2. Foreplay. Guys, by and large, are simple. If a sexual partner touches me on the penis with some lubrication, I'm happy. It feels good. Easy as that. Women are generally more complicated. Even if you've got lube on your DK, you can't just go shoving it in there, unless she specifically asks for that, in which case she's probably got the lubrication covered so go for it. Without a bit of prep. Set the oven preheating before you put the meat in. This can start long before the bedroom, sexting, talking dirty, the occasional touch or smack on the ass depending on what she's comfortable with throughout the day are things that can start her motor running long before you get in the car, not my finest metaphor but let's move on. Once you're about to get down, put your hands on her, tell her how sexy she is and how much she turns you on, how badly you want her. A lot of kissing is good, on the mouth, neck, breasts, stomach, see the direction I'm moving here? 3. Oral sex. Get good at this. Learn to love it if you don't already. The statistic I last heard was that only 25% of women can orgasm from penetration, so better to get take care of it sooner than later. Not that this should be treated as a box to be checked off, enjoy the journey and it's that much more likely that she'll reach the destination. As for technique, don't neglect the clit. That's the little nub at the top of the vag, it may be shrouded by the clitoral hood, you may want to gently pull it back, but extremely gently if at all. This may not be pleasurable for some women. It has nerves too, be careful, and it's the thing that would've become the penis if she'd have turned out to be a guy in the womb, so keep that in mind. Do you want someone mashing your DK around like they're a professional Smash Bros player and its final destination, Fox only, no items? Hell no. So be gentle with it. Caress it. 
Massage it. If she tells you to go a little harder, err on the side of caution, genital pain is a turn-off for the majority of people, so just be cool, okay? Don't neglect not the clit. Remember the thing you're trying to get your wong wet with? The hole that's your goal? Give that a little love too. Lick it from top to bottom once in a while. Get a finger in there and curl it toward yourself in a beckoning motion, like you're requesting that her orgasm come hither. If you feel a spot that's rougher in texture than the rest, make that your focus, that's the G-spot, and guy's equivalent is the prostate, which is a major pleasure center. Again, pay attention to the lady. If she likes something, do it more. If she doesn't, try something else. Enjoy yourself and enjoy her body. Your free hands, or just hand, if you've boarded the SS Fingerbang Ferry, should be roaming around her body, playing with her nipples if she's into that, just exploring her. If your jaw or tongue are getting sore, tag in your fingers and kiss the inside of her thighs, her stomach, etc. 4. Penetration. It's time for the train to enter the proverbial tunnel. Maybe your partner just had an earth-shattering orgasm from your twisting tongue technique, or maybe she pulls you up off your knees because she needs cock inside her right that second. Or maybe neither of those things happened. Whatever. Point is, she wants your penis in her vag. If she isn't sufficiently wet, put some lube on your tube. If you're unsure of positioning, which is okay, let her guide you in. It's probably going to feel pretty good. If it feels so good that you finish right away, don't panic. Come clean, no pun intended, and maybe go back to eating her out or fingering, that usually more than makes up for it if you know what you're doing, which by now I've done all in my power to ensure that you do. Do kegels every day if that's a common problem for you, masturbate an hour or two before sex, whatever it takes. If you have the opposite problem, don't worry too much, it might just be a temporary mental block, and if not they've got little blue pills for that. Anyway. Throughout the effing, keep kissing her, touching her, etc. Get your hand down to her clit if it's not too sensitive, which you will know by asking her. Try a few different positions. Have some fun. Starting off with long, slow thrusts and then crescendoing isn't a bad idea. But different strokes for different folks, pun intended. The reason you want to get her off first is because if she's among the 75% that doesn't orgasm from penetration, you've at least done your best to see to her first and now you can have your fun. If you're using a condom, which you should be, finish wherever, ask before you finish on her ass, back, breasts, face, contrary to what P would have you believe, sex does not have to end with a facial. After you've finished. 5. Aftercare. Cuddles, most people love them, I find. Spoon that lady. She just let you put your dong all up in her biz, the least you could do is give her a little affection afterward. If it's uncomfortably hot and sweaty, feel free to take a second to cool down a bit before you do this. Maybe take a pee break, UTIs are a drag, or so I hear. If you had fun, tell her so. Maybe don't ask if she finished. It can kind of come off as insecure, or like you're looking for some sort of macho validation. Which I guess is also just insecurity. Just snuggle up, play with her hair, maybe kiss her neck just a bit. Unless this isn't that kind of sex. That might come off a bit clingy if this is just some girl from the club. Did I mention that not all advice applies to all people? Anyway, I hope that's enough to get you started. If you have questions about anything specific, fire away, I like talking about sex. Good luck and have fun. If your partner wants to experiment with a dildo and you ask them to tie a string around it first. Link. I feel like there's a bad reason you know this. One of my friends had to go to the hospital for a stuck dildo. I have an average penis. Despite that, possibly because of it, I don't seem to have much trouble giving some women an orgasm from PIV. The thing that seems consistent, while in missionary, I put my penis all the way in, grinding my pubic bone against her clit, and being all the way in simultaneously makes the ridge of my head rub just in front of her cervix, the anterior fornix. I then just move a bit back and forth, not big strokes. I think the clit grinding and rubbing of the fornix gives them great stimulation to orgasm. It doesn't work for ever woman, but it seems to work for a decent number of them. I've had favorable results from a good percentage.
I started seeing way more partners come from penetration around the time I realized my fave position was when you modify missionary by folding her legs back towards her chest, knees towards chest, back of thighs and feet facing you, with her legs together which tightens things up, changes the angle so you hit the G-spot more since she's sort of rolled back a bit, and lets you go deeper. Not with her knees around your neck, shoulders but with her legs completely together and her feet sort of in front of your face, don't ask me why I started having girls in that position to begin with kiss mark foot. Add in a thumb gently and slowly but consistently and evenly rubbing on the clit and a lot of people who didn't realize they could come from penetration or very rarely do will end up doing so. Honestly jackhammering is way less of a thing than young guys think compared to working the angle, working the clit while effing her, and being consistent with strokes and clit stim even if it's slower pace. And if that doesn't work, my Vixken Maverick gets a lot of people their first penetration orgasm. Laughing face. Edit, someone asked for a visual NSFW. Scroll down cause there's four images, link. Notice that the feet, legs are touching and stay closed together not spread out, the body is rocked, rolled back so that the legs are not aimed up but actually the further back the legs are folded while still being comfortable for her the deeper you are able to go, you probably will have to hold her at the ankles or feet with one hand to ease the muscle strain on her and keep her legs in that position while you touch her clit with the other or if you like feet like me just have her put the soles of her feet resting, pressed right up on your face, and finally if you can raise and lower the height at which you are entering her from, for example spread your knees close or further apart, you can play with the angle you are hitting the G-spot with. Also with this position since it's easy to access the clip with your dominant hand, if you need pauses to avoid coming before you want to, you just pause while at the deepest point of a stroke and keep rubbing the clit and she won't mind your stamina pauses as much as if you weren't hitting the clit. And there's ways you can both get a rest on, her resting her feet against your chest and you resting against her feet, legs, while your one hand keeps rubbing and you stay fully inserted. Foreplay. Edit, I've never scored over 1k upvotes or one award. Thanks guys, and girls. Thanks for coming to my sex talk. Long time. Consent is clear as day, or not at all. Shower regularly. Take your time with foreplay, and being fun is relaxing, you don't have to be serious all the time. It's way easier to make someone come if they're comfortable first. Use your fingers to do the come here, motion in her while you're eating her out. Keep a consistent pace with anything you do, it builds up over time better than changing speeds. Don't spit on anything or slap anywhere unless you asked about that first. Consistency greater than effing like a gaulia for 30 seconds and then hyperventilating. Greater than don't spit on anything or slap anywhere unless you asked about that first. Seriously. Doing the dumb poo you see in pee is the fastest way to make a hookup a one-time thing. Who thought asterisk spitting asterisk was a sexy way to lube up? Always ask first. A plus plus advice. If you accidentally come inside a girl, immediately spread her legs open and scream into her open vag. If done correctly your sperm will be so scared they will shrivel up and die. Get the F out. Now. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the video.